Scores of police personnel are now on a watch list after coming into contact with the suspected carriers of COVID-19. Confirmation came from the Police Federation even as the country digests news that Police Commissioner Major General Anthony Anderson has contracted the coronavirus. More from Duane Anderson. When we visited the police commissioner's office, it seemed like a typical Sunday afternoon at the headquarters. But this release from the communication arm of the Jamaica Constabulary Force told a different story. The head of the police force, Major General Anthony Anderson, was out of office after contracting COVID-19 and is in home quarantine. His symptoms are said to be mild. As a precautionary measure, members of the commissioner's immediate support staff have been placed under quarantine and are to be tested. Sections of the commissioner's office will be closed to facilitate sanitization as well as further testing of other staff members. But the situation is now being compounded with confirmation from the police federation that more than a dozen police personnel stationed in Sudan have been placed under quarantine after reportedly coming into contact with persons suspected of having COVID-19. Chairman of the Police Federation, Sergeant Petre Rowe, explained that police personnel attached to the Watt Town Police Station and the Alexandria Police Station, both in St. Anna, have been placed in self-quarantine. We have had an opportunity to speak to the management of that division under the leadership of SSD Calvin Small. Um, the Police Federation is satisfied that Mr. Small, through his direction, has done sufficient to secure um, our members to ensure that the appropriate instructions were given for quarantine to be done for sanitization of these facilities and to uh, prevent further exposure to other members. I know that a number of members within that division now are on quarantine and there has been some amount of staff rationalization to ensure that the need for police in service is maintained. The police commissioner and the Minister of National Security have regularly bemoaned the shortage in the number of JCF personnel. It remains to be seen how the temporary removal of these men and women will affect operations. The police commissioner in the meantime is urging members of the police force to be extra vigilant and take precautionary steps to protect themselves as they carry out their daily duties. Members who display COVID-19 symptoms such as fever, dry cough, tiredness and chest pains are asked to isolate themselves and contact the Health Ministry's helpline. Dwayne Anderson, TVJ News.